officially spooky season, and Austin just so happens to be home to one of the most haunted hotels in the whole country. Located right on 6th Street, the Driscoll Hotel is not only home to a world-renowned bar, cafe, and grill, but some spooktacular supernatural sightings. Founded in 1886, the Driscoll Hotel is the oldest operating hotel in Austin and one of the best known hotels in Texas generally. Everybody knows the Driscoll. Um, it's been around for so long. When you're out in the community, somebody's had a wedding here or, or a birthday here or some kind of celebratory um, event here uh, and then they know it very, very well. The hotel was built by Jesse Driscoll, a successful cattle baron who had moved to Texas from Missouri in 1849. With the influx of wealth brought from supplying beef to the Confederate Army during the Civil War, Driscoll purchased the land at the corner of 6th and Brazos for $7,500 and announced plans for a grand hotel. The Driscoll is sort of at the epicenter of Austin paranormal activity right there at the corner of 6th and Brazos. Jesse Driscoll, he was a, a cattle baron that wanted to have a hotel that rivaled uh, New York, Paris, those places. And he wanted to build something beautiful in, in Austin, Texas. So um, he put the money down and, and started to build this beautiful uh, hotel that rivaled these, these other cities around the world. The Driscoll Hotel had its grand opening on December 20th, 1886, and became home to influential events such as the Governor's Inaugural Ball. Unfortunately, in May of 1887, a year after the hotel's opening, Driscoll was forced to close down the hotel following a harsh winter which killed his cattle inventory. Driscoll then sold off the hotel to his brother-in-law, Jim Doc Day, who reopened the hotel in 1888. I think that the fact that, you know, it goes back and forth in time whether he lost the hotel in a poker game or not, that kind of really, uh, it's great to hear that he was such an adventurer and he spent all this money and then he was willing to put it all on a poker game. Now, if that's true or not, I'm not 100% sure. Losing his fortune and pride through gambling, Driscoll died shortly after inside the hotel, but never checked out. Since then, the Driscoll continued to change ownership, recently bought by Hyatt Hotels in 2013, and reinvent itself through time, with the 1996 renovation being the latest. From its conception to present day, the Driscoll Hotel has become an icon of Austin culture, hosting noteworthy events and people from all around the world. We've had many, um, many to name, uh, Murray, Bill Murray, uh, and then from political uh, figures, uh, from governors to presidents um, of the United States, we've seen them all. The Driscoll Hotel became a favorite spot for former U.S. President Lyndon B. Johnson. In fact, the president reportedly had his first date and proposed to his wife right at the hotel's cafe. The Driscoll Hotel is a member of Historic Hotels of America and is the oldest operating hotel in Austin. Because there's just so many um, stories, uh, there's things that have happened, and the, the length of time that the Driscoll's been in Austin is really makes up a great storyline for us to use. But not just another room, uh, there's, there's hauntings, there's uh, political things that have happened here, and you know, it's such a makeup of the fabric of this community that it's, it's so different. When you walk in here, you feel like you're part of something, you're part of Austin's uh, history. In 1898, the first long distance phone call in Austin was made from the hotel lobby. The hotel finished construction earlier than the state capitol building and was used as a temporary meeting spot for the Senate. They were, they were going to put a wrecking ball, I think, um, for the preservation of, of, the, of the Driscoll in the 60s and 70s. They were going to put a wrecking ball through uh, the place, I hope I'm telling this right. Um, and so the, the society got together, Austin, Austin Town got together and, and put together a bake sale to sell stocks in, in, the, in the hotel so that they could save this place. Inside the Driscoll's beautiful Romanesque architecture lies the darkest stories. On almost every floor, there's ghosts waiting to make their presence known. 
The halls are lined with Victorian paintings that watch your every move, and elevators that have a mind of their own. From tragedy to celebrity, these walls are lined with stories begging to be told. The earliest paranormal activity recorded in the hotel was of four-year-old Samantha Houston, the daughter of a senator, who died falling down the grand staircase after chasing her ball in 1887. According to guests, you can hear her giggling and bouncing ball echoing throughout the staircase. You know, the stories that I've heard, um, uh, children playing in the hallways, we've sent security up to, to have a look and there's nobody up there or kids out in the hallway, so whether that's Samantha chasing the ball again and people are hearing that. Located at the foot of the grand staircase, the portrait of the hotel's founder, Jesse Driscoll, is known to make whoever dares stare into his eyes cry uncontrollably. Speaking of, reports of the smell of cigar smoke are common and are said to come from Driscoll Specter, checking in on the hotel he founded, lost, and ultimately died in. There are two common phantom aromas associated with the building. One of the scent of roses, associated with Mrs. Bridges, who worked there in the early 1900s, and another of tobacco, cigar smoke, associated with Colonel Driscoll. And a couple right in front of me both say at the same time, I smell it, and at the same time that he said roses, she said cigar smoke. It's not necessarily an actual aroma, it's just their way of coming through to me. And they say if you can smell cigar smoke, um, he's saying hello or he's, he's letting you know that he's around. The Maximilian Room is home to many mirrors owned by Carlotta, wife of Emperor Maximilian of Mexico. Guests who gaze into these mirrors report seeing the figure of Carlotta in their reflections. Some say the spirit of railroad worker Peter Lawless, who lived at the Driscoll until his death, haunts the elevators, taking guests to incorrect floors and activating without the press of a button. It doesn't cost any extra to stay in a haunted room, and people have been, uh, guests have uh, encountered paranormal activity in other rooms. Nine times out of ten when the paranormal happens, it's not a frightening situation. It's only when you go back and think on it later that you go, wait, wait a second, what just happened here? What it feels like to have a haunted experience. And let me tell you what it feels like. I came across this this past summer when I was swimming in the Gulf and the water temperature was, was constant, and then all of a sudden it shifted to something a little bit cooler. And I thought, that's what it feels like. Only it's not temperature, it's electricity. It's a vibration that passes through you, and that's exactly what it feels like. Perhaps the most infamous hauntings of the Driscoll are of the Suicide Brides. Two women who killed themselves 20 years apart exactly in the same room, 525. The brides that committed suicide exactly 10 years apart or 20 years apart by flinging themselves off the balcony. Lots of it's, I'm there to tell them, no, that's, that's not true. One was in the 1950s, the other one, well, that poor girl, we've been telling her story wrong for about 10 years until she set us straight by having me actually run into a person, literally, who saw my name badge and said, oh, we stay here at the Driscoll, so the staff knows me, the ghosts know me. The Suicide Bride, is it uh, the one from the 1950s or the one from 1989? And she said, no, actually it was 1991. I said, how would you know that? She said, I have a copy of the police report. Hey, would you guys at Austin Ghost Tours like a copy of that police report? This collision, was arranged because this poor woman wanted, wanted her truth told. I have people um, from all walks of life. He might be the richest man in, in Austin and he's wearing shorts and a t-shirt and having a drink in the Austin in, in the Driscoll bar. So, you know, it's, it's great to be having that cultural mix in, in the bar. So really, really important that, you know, the Driscoll changes with the times and, and we continue to evolve as, as Austin evolves. But, you know, you can still come back and feel like you're part of Texas here with all the history and the, the um, you know, the, the Texas car, if you will, Texas car kind of stuff that's in, in everywhere that you look. 
The Driscoll has been in Austin even before the state capitol finished construction. It's been a part of Austin's history for over a century and continues to play a big part of Austin's culture. Tourists come from all around the world to see the beautiful architecture and eat in the world famous bar and grill, just to get a little spooky ghost action on the side. It might not be what everyone expects, but Austin rarely sticks to people's expectations.